Skill is good, but it's not adequate. Skill is what? It is good, it is not adequate, it's not automatic. It doesn't say that because you are skillful, then you will prosper. Add favor to it. Your skill will be wanted by everybody. What makes a man have a cue? He's called favor, not skill. Because that thing you are doing, another person is also doing it. You are sending them, okay, since you don't want to wait, go to the other shop. The man say no, he will wait. Say we wait. Favor is the flavor that adds savour to your labor. Kabila man. Favor is the spice that adds aroma to your labor. What makes your labor be seen and people are enjoying your skill, calling you left, right, and center? That thing is not that you know how to do it. Oh, is favor that is working. What will be making your work smell and attracting people is called favor. Is that doctor around? If it is not Dr. Alpha, nobody should touch me. It's not as if Dr. Alpha is the best. Dr. Alpha's favor has not given room for another doctor to walk. <laughs> favor is a force. Let me tell you something. Favor is better than connection. When a man connects you, he can disconnect you. Kubila. When favor connects you, let me say Talia, no man can disconnect you. What you need in your life is favor. Place your hand on your head as you begin to pray. Favor hits my head. Speak for me. Let my work speak. Let people see my work. Let them see my what. Let them see my skill. Favor hit me, hit my head, hit my voice, hit my hands. That whatever I lay my hands on should be seen and be appreciated by people. That work is called favor. The presence of God is the fragrance of favor. <laughs> that fragrance is what is called the perfume of God. That thing called favor is the spiritual perfume that terminates order. What is making people run from you? That thing is because you lack his presence. No man enjoys God's presence and does not enjoy favor. There is no man. If God is not too big for you to get his audience, then your voice will not be too small upon the earth. <laughs> when you see a man of prayer that God will bend his ears to his voice that when he's praying God hears him how is it that the man will not have a voice upon the earth there is no human being that will be too big to give you audience that is to say that a man that enjoys the presence of God will have the audience of the people that thing is called favor a prayerful Christian is a favor-filled Christian. A prayerless Christian is a favorless Christian. The presence of God makes the difference.